Okay, we're gonna make some Kushaw uh, muffins and Kushaw uh, pancakes. Okay, all I did was cut the Kushaw in half, scraped out the stuff, cooked it in my instant pot, and now this is what's left. And it's been frozen. This is from our garden, our Kushaw, from our garden. Okay, now you're going to need some brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, flour, salt, evaporated milk, molasses, pumpkin, and egg. Okay, let's get started. We need a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, you're going to need one and three-fourths cup of uh, flour. Okay, that's one cup right there. Now we're going to get three-fourths cup and make sure you don't work like I did just now. Yep, I got it on my shirt now. I'm a messy cook. Okay. Now, we we'll need one can of Kushaw. I mean, one cup of Kushaw. Now, if you want to make a lot, you can uh, put uh, two cups. This is pre-measured out. Every one of them that I cooked, I made sure I put two cups in each bag. Now that's one can of Kushaw. I mean, one cup of Kushaw. I let that sit in the refrigerator overnight to thaw out. We need one cup of evaporated milk. So let me go open it up. One cup. Okay, we got our evaporated milk. Now you can take the rest of it and put it in the refrigerator and use it up to a week in the refrigerator in an airtight container. You can use it in soups, stews, whatever you want to make. Okay, I need four tablespoons of molasses. 
So let me find my tablespoon and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get our four tablespoons of molasses. If you like yours extra sweet, you can put one more tablespoon. Today's the last day of the gingerbread in Hyman, Kentucky, or Knott County, or whatever you want to call it. Now, if you have not got cloves, ginger, pumpkin, and nutmeg, or whatever, you can use pumpkin pie spice. Cloves, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. If you ain't got that, you can use pumpkin pie spice. Okay, we're going to put two teaspoons of cinnamon. One third of a teaspoon of, uh, of, uh, ginger. It's just a little bit of that left. Okay, nutmeg. We don't need no, we need cloves. Cloves next. One eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I mean cloves, I mean one eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. I just woke up you all, so yeah. You gotta overlook me. Day seem like it's gonna be a day for me. Okay. 
Okay, we need one third of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let me check the recipe and make sure that I've got everything I need. Oh, I gotta have egg. One egg. Okay, let's get one egg. Okay. Okay, it calls for one cup of brown sugar, three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon, one third teaspoon of ginger, one eighth teaspoon of cloves, two, no, no, one third cup of, um, one third teaspoon of salt, one cup of evaporated milk, four tablespoons of molasses, one count, one cup of kushal, and one egg. So we got it all. No nut, no nutmeg, but if you ain't got the cinnamon, the ginger, and the cloves, use pumpkin pie spice. Use two uh, teaspoons. Okay, let's get mixing this up and get these stuck in the oven. Now, you're going to need 12 liners if you're going to do the muffins in uh, cupcake, line, uh, cupcake holders. I think I'll do mine in just one big old pan if I can find something to bake it in. And then we're going to do some pancakes. Cush our pancakes. Don't forget you one and three-fourths cup of flour. Don't forget that. I forgot to say it, I think. I'll have the recipe in the comments down below. Okay, let me find me something to put this in. What I'm going to bake it in. I usually bake it in my uh, cast iron skillet. Cameron's brought us something in here. Look what we got. Look what Cameron brought us. It was uh, in a tree. And that's the scraps we throwed out there last year. And it came back up this year. And now look at the pretty pumpkin we got. Yay! I love it. I can't wait to see what color it is. I hope it's a white one. Okay, we got a cupcake pan. Well, go find us another one somewhere. You can buy these cupcake liners at the Dollar Tree for uh, ninety of for a dollar twenty five. I 
about forgot something. We need some baking powder. Well, I've got to find it. Before I put it in anything. Here it is. Okay, we need two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Great value is what I'm using. Okay. Now let me find another one and I'll, and we'll get ready to bake this. Okay, we found us another one. Okay, we're ready to fill our liners. I'm going to take this ice cream scoop and fill our liners. It's Ronnie's big mouth in here. Here's somebody talking. It's Ronnie and Cameron. They love to do my videos like that. They love to get in my videos. Knowing I don't want a minute. I can't pay attention to what I'm doing in them too. That's why I don't want a minute. Now, as far as taste testing, that's fine in my videos. But I can't pay attention to the, the recipe and them too when they're talking. Look like I'm going to have to find me another one. I think at least make two or three more. These will. But I'll wait until after I get these baked to worry about that. I'm not finding another one. I'll just use the same one with new liners. That way I can only wash it once. No, it's going to work out, I think. hope it does anyway. Look like it is.
Now let me see if I can scrape what's left of this, put them in this. That'd Maybe we can ink what out, that way we don't have to dirty up nothing else. Just wash the pans as we go. Baking season this year, y'all. It's already baking time. It's fall, you all. At least it looks like it is outside. All the leaves are falling. And our tomatoes are about on its last legs. But we still get a few garden stuff left. We ain't got much left. Yep, we've got not much of nothing hardly left in the garden. Wasn't that pumpkin pretty? I thought it was anyway. If y'all went to Walmart and got the 50 cent uh, pumpkin plates. Okay, we got three fifty on our thing, on our oven. Try twenty minutes on these. If they ain't done, try another five to ten minutes. Okay, let me clean this mess up while we're waiting on ours, ours to get done. Okay, we're going to start making our pancakes. We need two cups of all-purpose flour. Kushaw, not pumpkin. Sorry. To me, they're the same thing. To me, they are. They all good. It's squash. It's all that matters. Okay, ours are two cups of all-purpose flour. Now we need two teaspoons of baking powder. Now right now you can buy a 25-pound bag of all-purpose flour at Walmart for 20 bucks. And do all your baking that you need to do this, uh fall and winter okay let's put our two teaspoons of baking powder okay We need a half a teaspoon of salt. Two 
Two teaspoons of ginger. No, two teaspoons of cinnamon, sorry. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I've got to find it, and I'll be right back. Now what do I do with my spoon? <sighs> One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I'll tell you what, where I've been canning, I about have everything I've got on spices. And it's probably going to cost me probably either $100 to $200 to replace everything I used already. If I didn't grow it. Yeah. By canning already. One third cup of brown sugar. One egg. Three tablespoons of oil. One half. That makes one whole. One half. Cup and a half of milk. I've used evaporated milk. You can add chocolate chips, optional, if you want them in it. And then you're going to cook them three minutes on each side, and they should be done.
Okay, let's get our cush all put in there now. One and one fourth cup of pumpkin or cushion, either one. We're using cushion. We need one and one half cups of cushion. Now, one and one fourth cup of cushion. Sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong. I told you, buddy, today ain't my day. I'm sorry. I'll leave the recipe down below. We don't want to leave none in the bag. Okay, hold on, I'll get some more. I have uh, about 40 more bags of Kushaw and probably about 20 or 30 bags of pumpkins in the freezer. I'm just going to add it all because I don't want to waste it. I might have to add a little bit more flour. We'll stir it up and see. Because there had only been a half a cup of it left. So we'll stir it up and see what it looks like. Get rid of this right quick. I think I smell our cushion in the oven, our muffins, so I'll check them in a minute. And uh, we don't need to, uh, we don't need to add no more, look, I should make some good pancakes. Okay, let me clean this mess up, and then we'll get us a skillet and start making pancakes. Oh, they look pretty. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, let's get a toothpick, stick in them, see if they're done. Now you gotta test them all because one might be done and the others might not. I think, let's see, try this one again. It's alright. Okay, now we're going to set these somewhere and let them cool. This is what they look like. Now if you want to make some icing for them, take powdered sugar, two teaspoons of milk, and uh, a little bit of vanilla, stir it up to see how thick it is. And if it's thick enough to pour, it's all right. If it ain't, add a little bit more milk. And there's you some icing. Or you could take 
uh, some butter melted, powdered sugar, milk, and a little bit of vanilla. Mix it up. Make it thin, and then pour it on top of here, and that'd be your glaze for your uh, Kushaw muffins. Okay, we're going to bake some of our uh, filling to make pancakes with. We're going to bake some of them. And we're going to see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. It's going to taste good no matter how you fix them. But I thought it would be faster to have some of them. You just slice it like you would bread and then uh, you could... Uh, just get it out like that. And heat it up in the microwave a piece. And heat it like that. Now you can freeze these up to three months. You can cook them. And then put them in the freezer. After you let them cool off. For three months. Take them out as you want them. Uh, leave them in the refrigerator overnight. And then get up the next morning. And uh, cook them. Either in the microwave or in the oven, either one. Now, if you're going to use your oven, you'll have to heat them up six to eight minutes in the oven. Covered. Now, if you want to bake, uh, use some, uh, you can get a little, uh, cake pan or something and bake you a few of them, or put them on something flat and then lay them in there and let them bake. That'd be good, too. And then put your syrup over them. Okay, let's get this in the oven. Got to bake I think I'm going to let 30 minutes, 20, 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, let me give me some butter and we'll be ready to make our pancakes. We got two tablespoons of butter in our pan. Letting it melt. Now let your skillet get hot before you put your pancakes in there. They need to cook at least two to three minutes on each side. Now, when it, uh, when you put them in the pan, and they got these little bubbles, make sure the whole thing bubbles, and then you can flip it over. That's how you tell when pancakes are ready to flip, when you see the little bubbles. If you flip them before then, it probably won't work. Probably mess up on you. Okay, our skillet's hot. Okay, we're going to turn it down on medium now. Okay, we want two tablespoons of batter. Make your pancakes big as little as you want to. Now, if you're making them for a little feller or a little girl, make them about that size. And if you're making them for a adult, probably about this size would be perfect. I say to each person probably want two or three pancakes if they're adult. See, they're starting to get little bubbles now. That's when you turn them.
When every bit of it starts bubbling, that's when you'll know when to turn them. Okay, we're going to try to flip ours now. I put a little bit of cinnamon on top of mine, extra, before I flipped them. And you want cookies three to three minutes on each side at least. And you do not want to flip them till you see the little bubbles all in it. Or it will fall apart on you. That's a trick in, in uh, cooking pancakes. Then you can put you some warm syrup on it, heat it up in the microwave, or just put it on cold, either one. I use Mrs. Buttersworth, no sugar, uh, for mine, my pancake syrup. And Cameron and Ronnie uses Log Cabin with uh, sugar in theirs. Now, you can add chocolate chips to these before you put them in your tube if you want to. Now, you can freeze these up to three months in the freezer after you cook them all. And just heat up one or two at a time. Or uh, you could put them in the microwave and heat them up one or two uh, at a time till you get them warm. Now, if you're going to put them in the oven after you get them out of the refrigerator, uh, cook them at 375 for six to eight minutes. And you don't want to leave this batter overnight, so make sure you cook all your batter up. And then you can freeze your pancakes or whatever until you need them. Okay, we're going to turn this the second time. Oh, they're getting brown. That's what we want to see, the brown part. Yes. I'll at least have to cook about nine pancakes. To feed my family. I'm going to give you a look at what they look like right now. Okay, we're going to get these out and put some more in. Now, make sure you butter your pan every time because you want that butter flavor too. Now, you can put these in a 200 degree oven on a pan and let them stay warm until you need them. Till you cook them off if you want to. Okay, let me get me some more butter. 
we be ready to cook some more now. I'm going to put this in this bowl and keep them warm. I think seeing mine out a little bit more today. These, uh, I think Ronnie likes them thinner, and Cameron likes them thinner than I do. I hope y'all try these fall recipes. Now, cushions are probably about twelve to fifteen dollars right now if you buy one. Depends on where you buy them at. Then all you do is bring them home, slice them, uh, take the seeds out, take the pulp out. And then uh, get the brown part of it or orange part, whatever color is inside. And uh, you can bake them like you do a pumpkin. Or you can cook them in uh, water on top of the stove. Put you some sugar in it, cinnamon in it. And you should like it after that. If you've never tried it, I suggest you try one. And if you don't like pumpkin, add a little bit more sugar to your stuff and see if you like it then. Pumpkins ain't just for decorating. They're for eating too. Any kind. Don't have to be a certain brand. You can roast them. You can uh, make pancakes with them. You can uh, 
Make pumpkin pies with them. You can make all kinds of stuff. Make pumpkin rolls. Even with Kushaw, you can make pumpkin rolls. All you have to do is take the pumpkin, switch it out for Kushaw, and do the same recipes. That's all you have to do. Whatever it costs for pumpkin, cush all, you can use it too. Just switch them out. Now, I've made a cush all pie, and buddy, I'm telling you what, we love it. We've made Dolly Parton's uh, walnut uh, pie. Oh my God, that's good too. My son really loves that. Seven hundred sixty-four subscribers as of today. Thanks, thanks everyone for that. Someday I like to own my own restaurant before I get too old. Okay, let's check the one that's in the oven. Well, got to find a glove first. Okay, let's see what the one in the oven looks like. It's not done yet. Not in the middle, it ain't. It's been 28 minutes. Okay, let's get these pancakes out. My battery's running low, so after this, I'm going to have to end the video. But thanks for watching. This is Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. I hope you try these recipes, the pancakes, and the uh, muffins. So, uh, I thank you all again. Bye. Let me get these out. Here's what they look like, a close-up. Okay, let me put some more on right quick before we end the video. My battery's running low. All I'm doing is cooking me some now and then everything will be ready. Sorry, I won't get to test you none today. But I have to end the video. I'll put these on and then I'll end the video. I'll just have to wait to the one that comes out of the oven, and uh, I'll make me some pancakes from that, too.
See you later. Bye. Thanks for coming and watching. Bye.